It's 10,000 BC, less than 100,000 years after expanding out of Africa, man has reached South America. Humans have met the adversity of the Ice Age head on, and rather than die off, we have adapted, become even more intelligent. And now we have colonized the entire globe. From coast to mountaintop, from tundra to desert, humans are there. Ice Age land bridges allowed man to spread around the world. But now the ice begins to melt and sea levels rise again. Humans are trapped and separated in two vast and unconnected hemispheres. Each pocket of humanity left to make the best of what it has been given. As the glaciers recede, they carve out lakes, rivers and bays. The map as we know it emerges. In Africa, increased rainfall causes Lake Victoria and Lake Albert to overflow and form Egypt's Nile River. In Eurasia, other rivers emerge. The Tigris and Euphrates in Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq, the Indus in modern-day Pakistan, and China's Yellow and Yangtze. These river valleys become critically important for how human history will now be played out following the retreat of these ice sheets. These are the river valleys whose waters and fertile soils will allow the first seeds of civilization to be planted. With temperatures warming after the Ice Age, plants and animals are more plentiful and man can finally choose to stop moving. Permanent settlements begin. Populations grow. With more mouths to feed, our ancestors have to get clever. They had to find a way to increase the amount of food they could get from the surroundings. Now, one discovery forever changes the planet and the path of mankind. We learn to plant seeds. The unheralded hero of human history, grass. A grass seed is tiny, right? It's no food. I can hunt a bison or I can take grass. I'm gonna hunt a bison, right? Ironically, grass seeds become the most important food crops in the world, but they're the things that are ignored by hunter-gatherers for thousands and thousands of years. People don't start using them until they absolutely have to use them. Some of the species of grass that we are most familiar with includes sugarcane. It includes wheat and rye and barley. All of the cereal crops are types of grass. So it's not just that beautiful green lawn that we measure our middle-class success from. It's also the staple crop upon which civilization depends. It is the majority of our calorie intake. 